Hello and welcome to another week of the Messenger Animal Oracle reading. This is for the week going forth of, ooh, I think it's the 20th of August, maybe the 21st. I should have looked that one up before I started. Okay, this is the Messenger Animal Oracle. I'm the artist and the author of this deck. It's very exciting and I am working on bringing that to you still. <laughs> Okay, this week we have the meerkat, we have the octopus, and we have the platypus. So let's delve in and see what that means for you. Okay, the energy of the meerkat. Who doesn't love a meerkat in their day? Okay, this is telling you to, um, okay, this feels very associated with relationships, with uh, your higher purpose within those relationships. What do you want to achieve? Who do you want to be? And how do you want to receive? You know, you have a choice in everything you do. You can be closed off or you can be open. And this is essentially letting you know that at this point there is opportunity coming through relationships. So consider who you're connecting with, the people coming in and out of your life. And in that space, what you're receiving from them, look for the uh, underlying clues, you know, the... You know, not everything is verbal. There is a lot that is, you know, like some, like body language and the way the movement and the flow and the connection, the feel of how someone's energy is with you and if that connects or if that doesn't. So it's really all like taking notice of how that connection is and whether that relationship is worth pursuing or letting go of in your greater good and in your higher purpose because when you are aligned to the right people this is indicating that uh, there's potential opportunity coming forth and should you keep your senses tuned <laughs> and active in receiving being open to receive that you're going to be guided into um the next step essentially the next step what do you need <laughs> what have you been planting the seeds for everything's about the next step so listen to those relationships if you've been drawn to the meerkat it's about relationships and it's about what's coming in from those relationships for you what you're giving in those relationships that allows you to receive back in return also beautiful card um yeah so now the octopus oh, love the octopus Okay, this is about uh, mental and emotional clarity. This is wonderful. Uh, there is a huge significance around the octopus this week associated with abundance. So abundance comes in many forms. It's not just money. It is also in life. It is in love. It is in, you know, the feeling of joy and health. Where are you working towards abundance at this point? Because this card is indicating that there's a positive flow and connection. There's a shift coming forth that is potentially leading you into greater abundance in that area. So uh, that's very exciting if you've been working towards something that you can now basically problem solve your way through anything. The octopus is very much associated with um being able to put a square peg in a round hole. There is no problem. There is only solutions. What is the solution? Keep looking for the solution because at this point, you know, if there is something that is not flowing as it should, it's a sign that you need to break free of that space and move into something else. So keep following those signals. Don't think of it as, oh, this just isn't working. Think of it as, great, I'm being guided. That's not working. This is optimization data for me to work with so I can better find the path that does work. This is a brilliant sign of getting clear, of being on task and in focus for leading you into that abundance in whatever area you're working toward at this point. Thank you, Octopus. Now, <laughs> the platypus. Well, this is exciting. The platypus is about um, your connection with spirit. It's the signs that are coming forth. It is what are you seeing? Are you connecting to that in your environment? Are you are you following the clues? Are you? Uh, it's a, just a beautiful energy of recognizing where you're circulating and need to let go of. Okay, so if you're trying to achieve or make changes mentally, emotionally in any way, if you're trying to heal, to become something that you haven't before, it's really important to understand the triggers 
that may be happening, the underlining mental looping, the monkey mind, I mean, people call it many different things, but it all accounts to the same thing. It's those things that tie you to who you have been and need to let go for who you want to become. So taking notice, getting clear, how do you step out of those patterns? What do you have to do to be free of that? This is all about looking for the signs. The support is around you, okay? The support is there. This is what this is saying. You have to just allow that support to come through. What are you feeling? How does that feel? When you go to do something within your gut, within your mind, within your soul, does it feel right or does it feel like there's a resistance? How does it feel when you step in and you put those pieces together? Does it conceptualize into the picture that you want to see for yourself? Okay. So this is all about, I guess, really just reflection, taking in everything you've seen and done in a day, just allowing yourself to, hmm, I guess, go on the outside and look in, reflect on all the different parts of the day and then put them all together. And does that make sense? Doesn't it make sense? Makes Just put it in an order where you're going to be able to create the changes you want that you need to be where you have to be, where your vision, where your sense of purpose, where your drive and desire takes you, okay? Platypus is showing you that you just have to listen to yourself, to those intuitive nudges, to the signs that are coming in around, be they dreams, in the clouds, in, you know, the way the people talk to you, you know, the adverts you see, they come in all forms, the animals, the insects, (laughs) where are you receiving? (laughs) Pay attention. (laughs) It's all there. Okay. So overall, uh, this week is about paying close attention to your thoughts, to your energies around you, you know, the good, the bad, making changes as needed, optimization data to get you to where you want to be, be it relationships, be it for aligning to that abundance, be it in the signs and the intuitive connection to yourself to keep making the positive choices that are right for you. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. Just be aware, be open to receive and be open to, I guess, not be stuck within your own perspective so much that you can't allow yourself to flow, (laughs) flow from one place into the other. Because when you stay stagnant, then that's when things get heavy and difficult. You flow and then there's that sense of joy and achievement and sense of you can do it and that inspires you to keep moving forward and taking the next step. And that's amazing. That is what feeds us all in all ways. Okay, have a beautiful week and I look forward to doing this again next week with you. Bye for now.